So here is the latest update uh, regarding my DIY uh, micro light, which I started to build a few months ago, uh, and it is now ready as a manual light, not digitized yet. The cross slide is built on uh, 20 millimeter uh, linear rails and uh, 1605 ball screw. The tool post plate has five uh, pre drilled holes for five different positions, so I can uh, position the, the tool holder uh, anywhere I like to. The quick changing tool possibilities is uh, quite practical. I guess I never used a lathe before, but I, I think it's uh, logical that uh, it's, it should be added to any uh, lathe. I made a small modification to my tail stock. Uh, the modification is really a simple thing. I just added a small handle to make it easier to rotate whenever it's necessary. I am using the same solution as I used for the Z and the X axis, uh, which is just a, a handle and an 8 mm tube and a 6 mm screw holding the whole thing, and the handle can rotate freely. So it's really simple like uh, an ordinary machine wheel. And the movement is uh, smooth and easy on, on all axes. I am sorry for the slight shaking in the movie, but it's not that easy to hold a heavy camera in one hand and uh, handling the, the machine wheels with the other. Bad excuse, but that's how it is. The tailstock is um, attached to the linear rails, so I can actually move it uh, back and forth if I want to. Of course, it can also be locked in position, but currently I don't have any other uh, solution to this than using a simple T-nuts in both ends of the tailstock.
The tailstock has a, an MT2 taper, so I actually bought also an AR16 collet chuck holder, which I can use for drilling. At the spindle motor end there are also some news. I made a new motor holder plate. Unfortunately I had to drill two holes in the original one. There was no other way to remove it. So I just uh, drilled two holes and uh, broke the whole thing off before I could install a new plate. Anyway, this solution lets me use a larger sprocket wheel, uh, so the gear ratio is now 3 to 1, and that uh, also allows me to use a little bit longer belt, so I can move the motor out a bit to get more clearance. On the top there is a black box with a simple pulse shaper which is basically just a 74HC14 to reduce noise and to create better pulses because uh, there is quite a distance between the power supply, the control box and the, the servo driver. The control box is still the same, I can adjust uh, uh, the check RPM between 0 and 1000 RPM start and stop the spindle in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction or I can control it from the CNC so basically there is no change in that but I just want to show you in case you haven't seen my previous video yet Actually the spindle noise have been reduced uh, slightly or well it's difficult to say but uh, I feel there is uh, much less vibration now with the new motor plate, the motor holder plate uh, than before so I'm quite happy uh, with it as it is but I will not uh, demonstrate any use before. I also made some protection because now uh, it's getting dangerous to use it without any safety features. So safety is the next step. Anyway, thank you for now and hopefully you will get back next time. In the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe to my videos. Thank you.